How's it going guys? Um, for today's video we're going to do a quick update on the AR630 TSS Hot, my pressure washer. I've been getting quite a bit of questions about this so um, I just told them it would be easier to do an updated video here. And also I'm going to show it in action. They asked me to, to show it spraying. I showed it foaming in my previous video that I'll link in the description box. But they wanted to see how well it sprayed or whatnot, but this is my setup here. It's changed a little bit since uh, my previous video here. I decided to wall mount it, and the reason being is just because it's too heavy for me to be moving around, and it just got to be a pain in the butt, so I decided just to do a wall mounted setup here that you see here. And while I was doing that, I went ahead and picked up the Krenzel just to see what the hype was about. I didn't think it was worth the price, but I went ahead and just bit the bullet to see what it was, and I was right in my assessment. I still think the AR is a lot better. But also, I'm going to give you prices, and I'll put links of everything that I have uh, here on what exactly I use. So we'll go ahead and get started. As far as the pressure washer, I ended up paying $653.85 for this. Um, I'll post a link down below, but it was on sale when I bought it. It was, it was back ordered when I picked it up. Um, as far as decibels, it's about 90 decibels versus I think 84 or something like that uh, for the Krenzel. So it's a, a tad bit louder, um, but not much of a difference to be honest. I can't really tell too bad. Uh, having it mounted here in the garage makes the pressure washer a lot louder than it typically is just because of the uh, echoing in here but it doesn't it's not too bad so um, I went ahead and installed it on just this generic kind of restaurant style uh, stainless steel shelf I couldn't justify paying $90 or whatever the shelf that that other youtuber wanted for his um, I ended up picking this up for $33.99 and just mounted it to the wall and it's it's did great for me you know it's it's a nice shelf it hasn't given me any issues I decided I opted not to bolt it in you don't necessarily need to bolt this one in just because of how wide the actual pressure washer is so I haven't had it vibrate or move or do anything the only advantage to bolting it in as you can see I don't have my water or my hose connected because I'll show you how I do that here but uh, when I do plug this in it does kind of slide but other than that I I it, I don't need to bolt it in it's fine the way it is so and then with this here this is a MTM hose here it's a three foot hose I tried to do the two foot hose but it, I just didn't like the length so I went with three foot I apologize for the lighting here I'm shooting in my garage and it's been kind of crappy these last couple weeks but um, I did the MTM hose here and just connected it here and I put one of these uh, line clamps here it's they're padded just to keep it onto there I didn't want to drill a hole into the actual side of the actual shelf and it's just easier to put it there gets it out of the way and i paid let's see uh 14 i think like 1405 or something like that for this piece here which is very inexpensive you know and then down here this is the um sorry i'm looking at my list here guys this is the cox reel the cox hose reel the same one that that uh, obsessed garage uses um, I ended up picking this up somewhere else just because like I said his prices are a lot higher than what I can find it I picked up this hose reel for $111 and four cents um, It's the exact same one. I don't know like Cox makes some good uh, hose reels, but it does it doesn't necessarily wobble but it's not the straightest like when you pull it out this plate here is a, it's a little wobbly not wobbly but it's a little bent out of shape where where if you're looking at it while pulling it out you could see it but it don't it doesn't bother me it functions just right and then you got your little uh the your tensioner the screw on how well you want it to come in and out and then for the hose i i have quite a few hoses um they're all over the place here's one of them this is a original one that came with the pressure washer i really like that hose but it was just too short and i got plenty of them down here all stacked up and stuff but i ended up picking this one up after reading several reviews and stuff this one's the mtm cobra cobra jet hose um this is a hundred foot hose here I end up picking this one up for $110.36. And all these prices are shipped with ta any tax with applicable. So all these prices, what I'm listing is what I paid for them to my doorstep. So this is a great hose. It It's pretty durable. I like that it, it bends and flexes and stuff. And with this low PSI, these pressure washers, I, I wouldn't be too concerned as, as far as uh, 
getting too much pressure in them. It's a 3 8 hose. It's a 4,000 PSI. So, and let's see what all have I didn't mention. Oh, and then I got the complete uh, wand set up with the Mosmatic and the integrated swivel here. Um, I ended up building this myself. If you want the parts, you're going to have to email me. There's just too many parts to list in the description box for me to put them down there. So I've had, I don't know, dozens of people email me and I just shoot them over the links to these. So I built this for about $150. And then we got the Mosmatic wand holder here. I ended up picking up a cheaper version of, of this one, a kind of a no-name brand. I just didn't like it. And it was a short, stubby one. I figured I'd like that a little bit more. But I, I just didn't just because it left the wand exposed and you know, things were getting pushed up on it. And I didn't want to, to bend the wand. With these longer ones, you, you have the wand protected and stuff. And then there's a hole at the bottom. And you can see it does have a slight, I think, a four degree angle, it said. I ended up picking this one up for, hold on, for $93.99 shipped to my house. So... Uh, for this complete setup here, as far as the pressure washer and everything, I paid $1,182.23 with tax and shipping and everything. So, as you can see, it's considerable, a lot less than what uh, Obsessed Garage wants to charge for his, his setup. And he sells, obviously, all the same things here, but besides the pressure washer, everything else here is the exact same that he uses. I just opted to buy from different vendors because of price. And then this is my Garage Vac Pro by Vacuumate. I know this video is talking about the pressure washer, but before somebody asks in the comments, I'll go ahead and address it here. Uh, Vacuumate makes this one. This is an amazing uh, pressure wash or vacuum. This is made in America, I think out of Oklahoma, Ponca City or something like that. Um, this is probably one of the best out there. It is a 16 amp, so it's pretty powerful. And then I went ahead and just mounted it and it, and I, you can easily lift it up and out of the mount. It's not too heavy itself, and then it eases bags. And then I went ahead and just uh, got this little short hose here and connected it to another Cox vacuum hose reel here um, so I could easily just kind of grab it and go, you know. That's the whole point of this setup is I wanted to make it as easy as possible for me. Um, so you can see it's the same tension. It's exactly the same thing, but just a bigger version for the actual hose here. And then I have this little hand ringer, clothes ringer, whatever. So when I'm drying the vehicle and stuff, I can easily ring it. And then this is just one of those um, rollers, uh, sawhorse rollers, essentially, or whatever. And I took the roller off and just mounted it on there. I could have put it smooth as, and cut these off, but I wanted to keep this as a roller. So when I need my roller, I can just put the actual roller back on and, and it's good to go. And I absolutely love that thing. So, but... Um, I don't have it plumbed here uh, for water and the reason being I just don't know if it's worth the cost for me yet. If I do I'm going to do something similar to what you see the wash and dry hookups here in the wall possibly or just have an exposed pipe coming down because I want to have the access if I want to put a garden hose here I just don't want to hard plumb it in but I just don't know if it's worth the cost right now for me because I don't know how much longer I'm going to be in this house so but um I have quick connects here. Everybody asks me which ones I use. This is the one that came with it. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> um, this is the one that came with the pressure washer. This was the plastic one. There's a metal uh, female to female quick connect or female to female adapter, but I end up tightening it too tight and it started leaking. So I end up using this plastic one. I need to buy another one. I'm gonna order it here soon. And this quick connects just your basic Briggs, I think, uh, quick connect. Uh, I'll put the link on this one in the description box. But that's all there is to it for Quick Connects. And the only reason I did the Quick Connect is because I didn't want to find, uh, plumb it in or whatever and, and screw it in. So it's just easier for me to just do Quick Connects. And as far as my hose, this isn't a full, you know, hey, it's ready to go all the time. Um, I went ahead and just bought this cheap hose holder. It, you know, some of the reviews were saying it warps and stuff, but there's no sun that gets in it. Um, this is like 13 bucks or whatever. Here's the other quick connect here, and I just kind of unwind it here, and I'll just do it right now here. Unwind it and just grab this hose here. Sorry for the shaky footage here, guys, but I just wanted to show you guys here. And I just grab it and just put one of these 
uh, shutoffs here and then just connect it here like that so and then my setup's good to go it's out of the way you know it's I have it to where the length is you know as far as it's not sticking out too much but let me go ahead and connect this and hand the camera over to my wife and she can go ahead and film me I'm gonna go ahead and just foam the car and just spray it off real quick so you can kind of I know it's gonna be hard to tell on how loud it is but just to show you it in action so give me a second and we'll go ahead and get started All right, guys I went ahead and just uh, pulled out some hose here all I do is pull the hose out and then this is just the MTM foam cannon, their old school one here, and um, I went ahead and just turned this on, opened this valve, and, and started it. Um, I don't keep it power on it at all times because I don't have a, the hose connected. Um, even if I did, I wouldn't power it on and off. It's simple as that, you know. There's no need for electricity to constantly be running through there if I don't need it to be. And I think I mentioned in the video earlier this was 16 amps. It's 15 amps max. So um, with this, this is 19 amps. So you are going to need a dedicated uh, uh, outlet here uh, for this. I went ahead and just had an electrician. I think it was like $120 he charged me. He put an outlet right here for me, a 20 amp breaker or whatever, just for this pressure washer. I have other things connected to it, but you can't play music or my radio while this is going because this is drawing too many amps. So it's one or the other. So this is mainly dedicated to this. And so my radio, because I'd like to listen to music out here, I just went ahead and just put an extension cord down over there. But um, I went ahead and just, uh, this is a Chemical Guy Citrus washing gloss or something like that. Um, I've had this for a while. I bought a, a gallon of it. So this is what I'm using for now. But let's go ahead and just foam the car real quick. And see. Let's pull the hose out. <laughs> to do a car washing video because there's plenty of, of videos out there and stuff so but somebody wanted to see it in action I don't know how well you can hear it in the background as far as the pressure washer it's not too loud so there is a slight delay when you pull the trigger um, just because of how long the hose is um, it's not much of a delay for it to power on but it's enough for me to notice a difference um, there was like hardly any delay with the original hose that I had but when you got a hundred feet of hose running through there, there's just a, a little bit of a delay <laughs> Even though, it's, even though it's 1900 PSI, the reason I'm shutting it off while talking is because I don't have an external mic, but it's 1900 PSI, it's not going to damage the actual car. Um, I can put my hand here, I'll show you where it starts to hurt. It actually doesn't hurt anything, so even at 1900 PSI, the PSI is obviously a lot lower now that we got a 100 foot hose, so even then it's, it still doesn't hurt. This video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. But um, yeah, this is my setup here. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and just uh, email me or go ahead and just leave them down below. All right, guys, thanks for watching.